I am very delighted to join so many others in Nigeria and around the world to celebrate with the founders, management and staff of Sahara Energy on this occasion of your 25th anniversary. In the last two decades, uh, we've consistently seen, and with great pride, I must add, a growth of Nigerian oil companies from the days when Nigerian companies were mainly invested in the downstream sector to a situation now where we have Nigerian companies in the downstream, midstream, and upstream sectors. Nigerian companies have shown capacity in operations and financing of oil and gas assets. But within this group of patriotic local investors, Sahara has consistently blazed the trail as industry leaders, not just in the petroleum sector, but in the power sector as well. So the founders of this iconic energy institution literally turned a local petroleum trading company into an international business spanning oil trading, bulk petroleum storage, oil production, gas supply, shipping, electricity distribution, and power production in just over a decade. And they've continued to build out strategically ever since. Sahara has been and remains a great ambassador for the Nigerian entrepreneurial brand, bold, innovative, knowledge-driven, with business models that are designed to seize opportunities in other countries and have done so with remarkable success in many countries. The next 25 years will be defining for the energy industry. Uh, locally, we launch into the brave new world for the oil and gas industry with the Petroleum Industry Act 2021. And this happily converges with the launch of the year 2021 to 2030 as the decade of gas development for Nigeria. And this is a follow-up to the highly successful initiative of the year 2020 as a year of gas. The main goal of the passage of the Petroleum Industry Bill, now the Petroleum Industry Act, and the gas initiatives that I mentioned earlier, is to transform Nigeria not only into a gas-based industrialized nation through enhanced, accelerated uh, gas production and, and distribution, but also to help create a better managed petroleum industry where both the people of Nigeria and investors alike can extract value. But aside from this, we also enter into two decades where the speed to decarbonization will, from what we see today, run on steroids. Already the wealthier nations and their institutions uh, have banned many public investments in certain fossil fuel projects, including natural gas. Examples include the European Union, the U uh, United Kingdom, Germany and Denmark, as well as specific institutions such as the Swede Fund from Sweden, Norway's Sovereign Wealth Fund, the largest in the world, the CDC of the UK, the European Investment Bank, the Investment Fund for Developing Countries from Denmark. The World Bank and other multilateral development banks are also being urged by their shareholders to do the same. So I think we're faced with uh, a situation where several of these countries are putting tremendous pressure on their, on their members. And barely two weeks ago, the UN Secretary General made a strong call that countries should end all should end all uh, fossil fuel, uh, a new fossil fuel exploration and production and shift fossil fuel subsidies into renewable energy. While the federal government is building coalitions with other affected countries to urge a just transition as we advance to zero transmission, I will urge uh, indigenous energy companies such as yourselves to join in the very urgent advocacy that is required to prevent the disaster that would result from defunding oil and gas projects. The third big issue, as you, as you know, and this has also been alluded to by uh, the president of the, of the African uh, Development Bank, which is the African Continental Free Trade Agreements. The African Continental Free Trade Agreement will offer new vistas for business. Sahara is already in business in many parts of the continent. 
but your participation and your contributions to some of the negotiations that are going on even now will be helpful, especially because of your experience out there in the field already. So I, I, I would really like to urge that you uh, join in some of what we're or some some of what we're doing, especially with our negotiating teams, to see that we're able to get the very best best value from this next round of negotiations. But before I end, I must. Uh, thank uh, the president of the African Continental, uh, for, sorry, the president of the AFDB, uh, uh, President Akin Adeshino, for his great support for Sahara Energy and for our government and for several of our different initiatives and projects. I, I, I know that he's pulled in several different directions and he's working uh, practically across the continent but we want to thank him for the great support that he's, of, he's given us and also uh, the support to Sahara Energy. But I must also thank especially the president of the DRC, uh, President Felix uh, Shisekedi, for his support for Sahara Energy. Uh, Excellence uh, Monsieur le Président, uh, je vous remercie infiniment pour uh, votre appui au Sahara Energy. Uh, accepter, Monsieur le Président, uh, l'assurance, mais considération distinguée. Uh, le, le, let, me, uh, let me again congratulate uh, the Sahara team for 20 years, 25 years of stunning achievements in the energy industry and to wish you uh, even more and even more remarkable uh, 25 years ahead. Uh, God bless you and all you do. Thank you very much.